Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will cover one more scenario for overdbf command where we will retrieve the data from the physical file with the help of star key a attribute. Okay, so before we discuss that, let me show you the data that we have in our file. So, this is the file that we are going to use for this demo, which is testpf1. So, I am doing run query over it, hitting enter. So you can see that these are the five records that we are having in this physical file. Now we are going to use key A. So what is key A? Key A means key after. So let's say if I pass uh, 20 as key A with key A. So what it will do, It in case of key what it returns, it will return the 20th record because we pass the value as 20. But in case of key A, it will return the after value. So if key a is specified as 20 so it will fetch the value as 30 because this is the after value so it will point at the key and then look for the next value so after 30 it will find 40 if 30 is value then it will print 40 if 50 is value then it will print the next value so this is how key after works so let's see this in program taking program in edit mode so firstly we are declaring the file using dclf command so here i'm passing the file name and the library name after that we are using over dbf command so just write file name as testpf1 to file as testpf1 and library as shermit1 now doing page down so here i'm using the retrieve order as star key a which is key after Below to this, you need to pass the number of keys. So as of now, we have only one key in our physical file. So I'm passing it as one. And then we are passing the record format name of the physical file. Now to specify the key value, you need to uh, pass inside the quote only. So just write quote, single quote. And it is of four digit value. So I'm passing it as space, space, then 40. So it doesn't matter if your key value is numeric or character you need to pass inside the quote only okay now do page down if you want to specify any scope level you can pass it here otherwise you can hit enter so now this key uh, this file is override with key a on 40 after that we are uh, doing the read so rcbf and then we are printing the values so for printing we are using send program message so just write sndpg msg press f4 here you can pass the value that you want to print so after file read we can print the field value so if the field is of numeric type we need to convert it to character so i am converting it to character using percentage care built in function and if the value is already of character type then you can pass it directly so i am passing right now i am passing it directly because this username is already of character type Below to this, we are just doing the delete, delete override on the file testpf1 because now we are done with the processing, so we are deleting it. So let's see what output we are getting. We have passed the value as 40. So let's see the output. So you can see it returns 50. Why? Because it we are using key A, which is key after. So after 40, it will find the next value as 50. So this is how we can utilize over dbf command for uh, over dbf command with a star key a i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture with